Los Angeles, California is one of the most expensive cities in the country, and it's also one of the most beautiful cities in the world as well. So if you're considering making a move to LA, or maybe you just wanna come and visit, this video is going to be for you as we're going to discuss the cost of living in one of the best cities in America, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty, the premier firm in real estate. And we do weekly videos discussing what it's like to live, work, and play throughout the great state of California. Today, we're going to discuss one of my favorite cities in the world, the city of Los Angeles. This city can offer you so much, whether you're single and ready to mingle, or maybe you're a family man like myself, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can find it right here in the city of LA. Today, we're going to discuss if moving to LA is a good idea, if you can even afford it. So we're going to go into detail the cost of living in Los Angeles, and let's just get right to it, guys with the biggest expense that most of us have, and that is going to be housing. Whether you're looking to rent or purchase, be prepared to pay very, very high housing prices. So what is the median home price in Los Angeles? Homes for sale in LA have a median listing price of around 1.2 million. And if you need to put that home on the market, the average days on market is going to be around 50 days, however, Obviously, if you call your boy Richard Soto with VIP Realty, we're gonna get that home sold a lot faster and for a lot more money with less hassle. Now, that's my commercial for the video. Now, let's cover some of the most popular neighborhoods and the median prices. Home prices in Hollywood Hills are going to be around 3.2 million. Westwood is going to be around 1.4 million, while Brentwood homes range around $3.3 million. Bel Air homes, you're going to be looking at around $8 million. Now, if that's a little bit out of your price range, which it is for the majority of people in the world, you can always head to downtown LA where the median price range is going to be around $650,000. So if you're looking for a maintenance-free lifestyle and you wanna take in some beautiful views and be conveniently located where you can walk around to some shopping, some restaurants, some bars, some pubs, downtown LA is going to be a great choice for you, or maybe that's just the only place where you could get a decent home at a fair price. Now, maybe you're not a home buyer, you prefer to lease as you like to come and go and be free to roam the world, then the average rental rate in LA is going to vary tremendously. The average rent for apartments in LA are between 2300 and 3800 in 2024. For studio apartments in Los Angeles, the average rent is around $2,300. And when it comes to a one bedroom apartment, the average rent in LA is going to be close to $2,800, while a two bedroom apartment averages around $3,800. As you can see, whether you're looking to lease or purchase, it's going to be rather expensive no matter what, especially when you compare it to other parts of the country. I go back and forth to our Texas offices and I can assure you, you can purchase a brand new construction home in a good desirable area and your mortgage payment is probably going to be around $4,000. So uh, depending on your lifestyle and your pocketbook, LA might be a great place to call home, or it might be just too dang expensive. Now let's move on to entertainment, things to do, and I'm all about having fun. I work extremely hard throughout the week, most times 60, 70 hours, and I love every second of it. However, when I do have some downtime, I enjoy taking my boys out on the town, having a good time, so let's cover some of the costs that you could expect. The average cinema ticket in LA is going to be around $17.50, while a museum ticket is going to be around $10. If you'd like to check out the LA Lakers, be prepared to spend around $450. Most gym memberships are going to run you around $60. Los Angeles is also going to offer some of the best dining and nightlife. I definitely partake in the dining as we go out to eat at least two to three times a day as we are constantly on the road, and two, my son refuses to eat even my scrambled eggs. So uh, 
it's mandatory that we go out to eat. And you can find food trucks throughout the city of LA, maybe eight to 10 bucks for some tacos, or you can go down Rodeo Drive and enjoy some fine dining. So whatever your budget is in regards to food, you can definitely find it in LA. The average dinner for two at a mid-range restaurant is going to cost you around $120. Cocktails are going to be around $16, or you can just hit up McDonald's for around $12. If you're going out for a drink, a domestic beer, you can expect to pay $8. If you'd rather not spend any additional funds living in LA, the great thing about living in Los Angeles is there's going to be a ton of hiking trails. You can always go to the beach, suntan, as you can see, I am not one who needs the suntan, but we definitely go to the beach, throw the football around, and just hang out and enjoy the views and people watch as there's a ton of characters coming and going at all hours of the day. So plenty of free entertainment as well in the city of Los Angeles. As I stated earlier, I have two boys and when I had my first one, Caleb Israel Soto, I could not afford childcare, which is going to be our next topic. I had just started in the real estate industry and I was having a heck of a time to getting the ball rolling. So I was unable to take him to a proper childcare because it was so expensive. So I strategically would take him to an hourly daycare. It was very inexpensive. I believe it was like $7 an hour. So when he'd wake up in the morning, I would take him to the hourly daycare. He'd spend about four hours there. I would pick him up right when it was his nap time and he'd sleep for two to three hours again. So I was able to strategically plan my work day around his little nap schedule because daycare can be so expensive, especially for new families. So let's cover what you can expect to pay in childcare in Los Angeles. According to the latest MIT data, you can spend around $15,050 for the annual cost of childcare in Los Angeles. For two children, expect to pay over $30,000. Daycare is expensive throughout the country, but especially high in Los Angeles. Needless to say, if you have a young baby boy or baby girl, <laughs> it's very, very expensive. And I was so grateful when my oldest son was able to go to kindergarten and I didn't have to pay the daycare, I thought I hit the lotto. So daycare, very expensive, not only in LA, but throughout the country. Now let's move on to our next topic and that is going to be transportation. And if you reside in LA or if you're visiting, you're most likely going to need a vehicle because everything is so spread out and you can pretty much expect to need a car if you're living in LA. Roughly 84% of the people in LA drive. If you're a car owner in LA, you should budget an additional three to $400. This is to cover expenses like gas, car insurance, and parking, which is going to cost you around 10 to $20 daily. Or if you're like me, who's all over town throughout the day, it can definitely add up. I despise having to pay for parking, but if you're not used to that, you might as well get used to it if you're moving or visiting LA. Now, if you don't drive, the best option is public transportation. While LA's public transportation might not have the best reputation, the Public Transportation Authority is implementing new routes and connections to improve safety, cleanliness, and frequency. These are just some of the main costs that you can expect if you reside in Los Angeles. Everyone's budget is a little bit different. However, the average budget for one person, you can expect to budget around $3,500 right here in LA. Living expenses in Los Angeles are twice as high as the US average, yet the average monthly salary in LA is around $7,300, which is higher than the national average of $6,600. So while the cost of living in Los Angeles is high, so are the salaries. So you can definitely offset your living expenses because you should be earning more money. However, once again, everybody's lifestyles and budgets are completely different. Now, if you are considering moving to Los Angeles or throughout the great state of California, my team and I at VIP Realty would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. Whether you're looking to lease or purchase, we are here to assist you with all your real estate needs. 
I love the city of LA. It has so much to offer. However, it definitely can be very, very expensive. But if you're frugal and you're able to budget properly, you can definitely enjoy the city of LA without earning a ton of money. But if you really want to enjoy everything that LA has to offer, be prepared to spend some big bucks. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. For now, I gotta get back to your phone calls, emails, and text messages. So we'll see you on the next video.